See, the religions of the world can easily be divided into two major groups. One group of religions called the Aryan religions and the other group of religions, the Semitic religions. Among the Aryan religions, I would consider Hinduism, Buddhism, and Zoroastrianism. This is of the Aryan group. The Semitic, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The unity of these three faiths consists in the unity of God. You see, in the fundamentals of the teachings of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, may the peace of God be upon them all, there is not an iota of difference. Between the religious groupings, there are many differences. When I say there is no difference in the fundamentals, I mean like, for example, the first commandment. The very first commandment as given by God Almighty to the Holy Prophet Moses was in the Hebrew language, Shama Israel Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad, which means here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. The first commandment. Some 1350 years after Moses, a learned man of the Jews called Eschrein. This learned man of the Jews comes to Jesus and questions him. Master, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answers and says unto him in the Hebrew language, Shama Israel Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. Here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. He repeated word for word what was given by Moses 1300 years before, without the change of a dot. That in the fundamentals of religion, in the fundamentals of belief or faith, there is no change. He confirms. The very words given by Moses. Some 600 years after Jesus, a Christian deputation comes to the Holy Prophet Muhammad in Medina. And they were having a dialogue for three days and three nights in the Masjid al Nabawi, the mosque of the Prophet. During the course of this discussion, this dialogue, the spokesman for the Christian poses the question. He said, All right, all right, now tell us, O Muhammad among so many other things, says, tell us now, what is your concept of God? And the Holy Prophet Muhammad is made to say, Qul huwallahu ahad, say, he is God, the one and only. He said, ahad, one and only. Jesus said, ikhad, meaning one and only. Moses said, ikhad, meaning one and only. What is the difference? It's the same word, meaning the same thing. 